Hi everybody, this is Angie from TorAngie.com and today I'm in Cozumel at sunset and I'm on a Norwegian cruise ship just looking over at a carnival ship. So this video is going to be dedicated to cruise news and first off we're going to talk about Norwegian. There has been a change in their program. If you've ever cruised Norwegian before, you know about the Free at Sea program, which was free drinks, pr uh, premium dining or specialty dining, Wi-Fi, and discounts on shore excursion. Well, it is now called the More at Sea. So I'm going to explain the benefits to More at Sea for you right now. So number one, the alcohol package has changed. You get the like premium drinks the drinks that would typically cost $15 per drink on a cruise ship the premium brands they are now included in the more at sea program number two specialty dining you get additional specialty dinings on your cruise if you have this more at sea program uh, just basing it off of a cruise I did in the past, I would have two specialty dinings because of the balcony room I have. Well, now I would have three. So they've upgraded it where you get more specialty dinings. You will still get your $50 discount on all shore excursions. That still is the same. You will still get that, but you also get the new Wi-Fi upgrade. They have enhancements to their Wi-Fi and Basically, all guests in the stateroom get this Wi-Fi upgrade. It's not just guest one and two. If you have four guests in your guest room, all four guests get the upgrade. So there's a lot more benefit to this more at sea that is replacing the free at sea. This started today, October 1st, and basically... For cruises January 1st 2025 or later so for example you book a cruise today and it's for March of next year you will be choosing the more at sea program not the free at sea program anymore it is now done away with but the rollout of this is today and along with that Norwegian Cruise Lines is offering 70% off the second guest and $250 free with the Cruise First certificate. Basically what that means, you can pay $250 today for $500 off any six day or more cruise. Uh, and you just book it whenever you're ready. It's, you know, you don't have a certain time frame you have to book this cruise. It can be booked, you know, 2025, 2026, whatever. Ever. but you buy the certificate and they have done this extension right now that if you bought the $250 certificate well you will receive an additional $250 so that makes it $500 off your first cruise now granted you are paying for the first $250 of it still if you're into that kind of thing it can be really beneficial for those planning far ahead in advance uh, for a cruise basically in my eyes you're booking a cruise for next year and you're already getting 250 dollars off the cruise plus you're putting a little bit down to the cruise down on the initial payment of the cruise like the first 250 because you bought a 250 certificate so it helps for those who are making the uh, basically the payments, not paying it all off all at once. It makes it more manageable by taking that extra $250 off the price of the cruise. So I love that for people that are coming to this cruise line. Now we're going to talk about the new ship coming in March of 2026, the NCL Luna. And uh, obviously, it's a new ship. It's going to be selling out of Miami, and it's going to be doing, doing Caribbean cruises. So those of you who have always wanted to check out a new ship or do a new ship or love Norwegian and want to check out the Luna, well, there are cruises up and ready to be booked now. The Luna is the sister ship 
to the NCL Aqua. And the Aqua is an amazing, beautiful, large ship. If you haven't been on it, you need to try it out. But the Luna is its sister ship. So go on and book a cruise uh, with me now for the Luna, and you'll have, well, it's about a year and a half away, so you can start plotting and planning your next travel adventure. Okay, so we have a little bit of time left and a lot more of this Norwegian Cruise Line video. So I'm going to talk a few minutes about some other cruises with some deals going on and some cruise news. So the first bit of cruise news, a Virgin Voyages has been named number one in the large cruise ship category for Condé Nast Travelers 2024 Reader's Choice Awards. And this is the second year in a row. So good job there for Virgin. I have not been on a Virgin cruise, but I plan on doing one at some point soon. Uh, I am certified to do Virgin cruises, and I love the thought that some of their balcony rooms, their upgraded balcony rooms, have hammocks. This is an adults-only cruise line, and that's one of my favorite things is a, would be an adults-only. So, if you uh, would like to take a Virgin cruise give me a yell. Uh, I've got all the information on it. Would love to help you out. Virgin has uh, right now a 70% off a second sailor. So that's the second person in your room gets 70% off and an additional 5% in instant savings on most sailings. Next, we're going to talk about Celebrity Cruise Line real quick. I did my first Celebrity Cruise back in June and it was lovely. So they have new itineraries for 2026 and 2027 that are open to book. So check out their itineraries. They've got Alaska, Northern Europe itineraries, Australia, New Zealand, Japan. Uh, heck, you can even book a group cruise, you know. Give me a yell if you're really interested in doing something like that. There is a lot of differences between celebrity and other cruise lines I've done in the past basically on the way that they do their rooms but I highly recommend it it was one of the best uh, food some of the best food I have ever had on a celebrity cruise ship so give me a yell if you're interested in booking a celebrity cruise of course I still book cruises for Royal Caribbean which is affiliated with celebrity princess which does great for Alaska and well, any cruise ship does great anywhere if you would like, if you want to take a cruise, but Princess has the best deals for Alaska right now. Uh, and also Carnival. Hey, Carnival is a great cruise ship. A lot of people will complain about it, but I still love Carnival. And if it takes me to a place I want to go, believe me, I will do a Carnival cruise. Also MSC. MSC gets a lot of flack about not being as nice as some of the other cruise ships. Well, you know what? MSC has the best prices and has moved way up on the scale with their ranking on food. So their food has improved. But the MSC cruises, the newer cruise ships that are in Europe right now, they are wonderful. I'm hearing a lot of good and a lot of good reviews about that. So if you're interested, check out an MSC cruise. I have booked some MSC cruises for some people, and they have not been terribly disappointed, but you have to go into it with an open mind. Well, this is Angie from TorAngie.com. One last thing I want to point out, in case you haven't heard, there's been talk of a lot of strikes and strikes happening at, at uh, ports all across the East Coast of the United States. Don't worry about it. It will not affect your cruise. These, do, these uh, port strikes are not infecting the cruise ports. So this is Angie from TorAngie.com. Come to my website, read my blogs, make appointments so I can help you plan your next travel adventure. And I'm going to start doing a cruise news and cruise review uh, video maybe once to twice a week from now on. I love uh, sharing my cruise experiences and booking one for you. So talk to y'all later.